and she is calling them Stone Age people. And I, as a black girl, the only black girl in her class, am correcting her. But I, 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 my thing is, you're right. She possibly misspoke or she didn't know. I guess my question to you is, why do you even feel compelled at this juncture in this interview? Why would you even feel compelled to try to... Because I don't want... Because I'm not defending. Oh, she's so annoying. Video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to so get notifications. Anytime I go live and make a video, make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Amanda Seals has to be the most annoying woman on planet Earth, right up with Kamala Harris, Sonny Hostin, and some of these other women. When you are a woman... Uh, uh, not even just a woman, where you are a perpetual victim. It, it, it just, it makes my blood, my blood boil and my brain pop. I don't know how Amanda Seals was ever successful. L listen, when you're young, when I was young and I didn't have success and I, I, I was out of the realm of understanding what popularity was, how to make money. And all this, I used to look at people like Amanda Seals and others and say, she must be sane enough that she's popular. She must have some wit that she has a level of success. Then when I became slightly successful and I had people follow me and I'm making a lot of money and all of these things happen, I realized these people are insane and just so happen to end up being successful. This Shay Shay interview with Amanda Seals. Now, women come out and act as if Amanda Seals was right. Shay Shay don't know how to interview. That... If you have any type of awareness and you understand human behavior, you can see as clear as the noonday sun that Amanda Seals is a narcissist. She has narcissistic personality because when you talk to a person, everybody everywhere is wrong except for her. You, you know something ain't right. Everybody's the problem. Everybody. I'm at Disney. They hating on me. I'm over here. They didn't want to see me. She was talking about the... the you know, all you got to do is say yes. That that group, Floetry, she got a problem with them. She complained about Candace Owens. She mad at them. Everybody's a problem. Oh, they tried to they tried to do this to me. To me. Listen to what she said. And, and Shay Shay put her in a place. Roll a clip. And I was in the situation at Disney. I was there as the only black girl. Okay. And there was a whole crew. It's like. 12 of us, 12 of us. Um, and so I was called an N word right there while I was there. And uh let me school y'all on something. I learned this as a cop. Hear me out. People, when they leave out big major details and they generalize certain things, they're not telling the truth. When, when you say, and, and allegedly and supposedly, that's a significant thing to be called an N word. But when you say, I'm the only black girl, a whole bunch of people there, and I, I was called the N-word. No, no, no. Who called you the N-word? Was it a producer? Was it a colleague? What was the context? They don't, it's not real. So they just throw out, I was called the N-word. She don't even have in her mind who called her the N-word, so she's not going to bring it up. This is, this is a tactic that I've learned. They just make up stuff. Uh, I was also bullied while I was there because I was told that you're only here because you're black. You can't really dance. You're just here because you're black. So don't get any ideas. So that's what I'm being told by the other children. Does that suffice as racist to you or would you want to call it something? Else? She did. That didn't happen. I put my life on it. That didn't happen to her. I put it. I put my life on it. Else. Is that just kids being mean? That's yeah. The kids. So let me ask you a question. As a child, do you Ooh. never said anything derogatory? You was just this model citizen as a child? I mean, children. Now, we're talking children, not functioning adults. Now, if you told me that adults, parents were telling you this, or the execs or people that are in charge of Disney are telling you this, I could agree with it. But at 89, I'm, I'm, you're probably eight, nine years of age, maybe younger. So you have no problem with the children that were cursing out Ruby Bridges and the Little Rock Nine? You think I, no, that no, was just, I, do you think that was just them being kids? Kids can, two things can be true. Kids can be kids and not function as an adult and things can be wrong. And sometimes when kids say things, they're repeating what they heard their parents say. They don't know it's wrong. So what about the children who are receiving it? 
that know it's wrong. Is that doesn't does that not matter? Yes, yes. So yes. if I'm so if I'm if I'm ten, and I'm receiving that treatment, and I know it's wrong, does it make my experience of it less? It doesn't valid, make it any less, less valid? valid. No. So that's what we're here to talk about. My experience. Yes. And we, so my experience is that I experienced that, and it was difficult. So that's the valid part of this. I'm not here to protect those people because it's irrelevant. He's like, so what are we here for? And she's like. It didn't happen, okay? It didn't happen. She made that up to create herself into a perpetual victim where everything she say has to go through the victim lens. And everything Shay Shay say is going to be wrong if he disagree with her because she made up a situation that probably did not exist. I don't think it exists. I don't think kids are just randomly calling the N-word. Like, you, you can't just say that stuff. Even in the 80s. You can't just go around. How, what, what context would a kid call it the N-word in? They were sneaking and saying it? Come on, man. Well, you know, she corrects me in front of the class. And these three black people are like, here we go with this racist bullshit. You know, because that's really what it is. We're in Florida in the 80s and the 90s. And um, But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay. <laughs> if you Do you think she would have felt equally as offended if a white kid, because I'm assuming this teacher was white, right? Mm -hmm. If a white widow, a white child would have corrected her, I think most teachers would feel some type of way if a child corrects them. That's not for me to surmise. I'm just saying that my experience was this lady giving wrong information. Yeah. And I'm allowed to correct her. Now, this is the same lady who tried to accuse me of stealing. And when a white girl said, no, Amanda didn't steal it, I did. She was like, well, I think both of you need to go to the principal. Right. I'm in Orlando, Florida, which is a notoriously racist state, Florida, in the 90s. And I'm talking to you about a white woman who is speaking about black people, indigenous people in a country where those same indigenous people have had all of their land taken from them by former criminals that were sent there from England. And she is calling them Stone Age people. And I, as a black girl, the only black girl in her class, am correcting her. But I, 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 my thing is, you're right. She possibly misspoke or she didn't know. I guess my question to you is, why do you even feel compelled at this juncture in this interview? Why would you even fee be, feel compelled to try to? Because I don't want, her? because I'm not defending. But my thing is, is that what I'm trying to say, most adults, when kids correct them or speak, feel some type of way. This is not unique to a black, white or white black. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm sorry that you took it that way. But I see Shay Shay is trying to put reality. Listen, when a man starts speaking like this and challenging points, it's because he can see that all she's doing is making up excuses and playing the victim in every situation she mentions every single time, every scenario he brings up, she's somehow a victim. And Shay Shay is saying, Shannon is saying, he can see it, so he keeps challenging her on it. Like, so everything is a problem. Everybody's a racist. The teacher get mad at you for correcting her. It's because you black. I remember when I was growing up, my grandparents and parents said, hey, kids, stay in your place. Adults are speaking. That's all. I don't maybe that didn't happen where you were forming in Orlando, Florida. But where I grew up and when I grew up, kids did not correct adults. So I apologize if you th thought it came off as combative. But when she said the white lady had uh, her teacher, mm -hmm. I said, Amanda, did it ever cross your mind that? I don't know where you from, but where I grew up, Ocho, kids never corrected a, a parent mm -hmm. or an adult. Corrected? Yes. It, it, and what? that's what I said. I said, I said, Amanda, did you think maybe because you were a child, even though you were right, the mere fact that a child corrected an adult. Now, right. maybe in today's time, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're in some place you grew up. But I don't ever remember being around, being in a situation a child couldn't even interrupt an adult conversation. And, and, Sh and Shannon is older than me, and that's how it was when I was growing up. Man, you could be wrong as four left shoes on an eight-legged man. Man, you better not ever tell your correct your teacher. Are you stupid? My daddy wasn't having none of that. If I went home and said, Daddy, the, the teacher did this. He go, no, 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 no. He said, he, my daddy would say, no, 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 what, you, what did you do? 
You don't tell me a teacher just, just picking on, what did you do? Because I don't put a roof over her head. I put a roof over your head. What did you do? And then you'll be forced to have to admit that, yeah, I, yeah, I did. I was yelling in, la in class and acting up. It, I, I, that's what I thought. You don't talk back to no teacher. You let the teacher say what they got to say, then you tell your parents. Amanda, this is why she full of crap, in my opinion. You couldn't pull on your parents or your grandparents' leg and say, hey, 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 hey. I'm like, huh? No. So that's what I was saying. I said, maybe, maybe, Amanda, it wasn't racism. Maybe it was the fact that a child was correcting an adult. They go on to, to, to Gilbert Arenas is funny. They, they go on to uh, talk about this, and Shay Shay was pointing out characteristics that Amanda Seals have. <laughs> and Gilbert Arena said, yeah, sound like a problem for somebody because <laughs> she's single, right? And, and that's, they were talking about her being single. But there's, there's people who every step of the way, and men have this instinct that we can feel it when you're making up stuff, when you're, when you're being hyperbolic or, or, you are, or, or you are exaggerating something. When everybody in your, like, let me say this. I've been black my whole life, and I haven't changed tone. I've been black like this my whole life, about the same color. Maybe in the summertime when I was growing up in Texas, we playing basketball all day, I get a little darker than this. But I'm black. I grew up around black people, white people, mostly black. I went to college, university, full of white people. And all of the experiences that I've had, I travel all around the country. I've been to 38 states. I think I've been to 36 or 38, I can't remember. I've been to dang near all 50 states. And I have never had experiences like this woman is saying. And the experiences that I have had that I thought may have been racist, I realized that I don't have an unequivocal explanation of why that is racist. Maybe just maybe if I look at the alternatives, I say, well, maybe the person wasn't racist. I can't unequivocally say the person is racist. I got pulled over a couple times by the police officers. When I became a cop, I realized, oh, shoot. These guys definitely weren't racist because if they were racist, they could have gave me a ticket. We could have got in big trouble. Me and my brother on the freeway like this, riding that like this across the freeway, swinging. In Texas, you call that swinging. We swinging across the freeway. Cop pull us over. We deserved every bit of that ticket. I'm driving down the street blaring my music. Cop pulled me over. He didn't even give me a ticket. If that man was racist and hating on black people and looking for something, he would have gave me a ticket. That man let me go and was, and then I realized how much police officers make, and I'm like, ah, oh, that dude ain't jealous of me in this little car, man. He make, he make enough money to buy him two of these cars. But I'm saying this because there are women like this, and unfortunately, it's like people like this in every race. But in Amanda Seal's perspective, she, I know people like her, and everybody's the problem except them. They go over here, somebody hating on them. They go over here, this lady was racist. They go over here, they didn't make it because somebody jealous. They go over here, nobody want to talk to them because they jealous and, and because they hating on her because she a black girl. I, I saw Amanda Seals in another, in another segment of that interview where she was talking about, um, it was something, I, I forget now, but she was, she was talking about something about a few girls and she's like, well, they were just jealous of me. Oh, 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 she was at a university and she got put into a dorm room. And she said like her first week there or something like that, they everybody hated it and they want to kick her out. And so they did a round table thing where they wrote down what they didn't like or they talked about it and they expressed what they didn't like. And, and, and they were all saying that she thinks she better than everybody, like all these other terms. And she said they all was wrong. <laughs> it's like, you tell me every girl – Get along, or they just don't like you, Amanda. Just you. And then they're saying things that could be valid reasons why they wouldn't like a person, and you can't receive that. You can't accept that. You have to say it's just they crazy. I don't know why people are so crazy, and I'm the only one that's not crazy. Anyway, I, I, I like that, Shay Shay. Keep doing your thing, man. People hating on you. I see them in the thing. They hating, not them, but people be hating on Shay Shay for his interviews because they don't like the way, man, the dude let people talk. He's asking good questions and he's going outside of the box and interviewing people of all walks of life. Shannon Sharp, in my opinion, has one of the best podcasts in America. Anyway, see you on the next one. I'm out.